What's going on everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. We have a very special video coming at you today. This is the one that I've had on the back burner that I've been real excited about because I was looking through Steam at some of the other reserves that they have. And this is the most highly rated DLC reserve in the game. This is the Yukon Valley. It says Yukon Valley's human history stretches back thousands of years to when early humans crossed into Alaska from Siberia. In its isolation, the reserve has always maintained its sense of danger and adventure. Modern visitors must prepare for encounters with the relentless gray wolves and mighty grizzly bears that roam the reserve. These visitors are rewarded for their bravery with stunning views of the crimson plains, flowing rivers, and lush for us so that's right i believe we will be attacked or at least you know the, yeah, the possibility of being attacked by packs of wolves um by grizzly bears but apparently just the landscape and the whole thing is just supposed to be beautiful so i'm super excited to hop into this one and try it out thank you guys so much for tuning into the series and the video if you'd like to continue to see some hunter call of the wild on the channel be sure to show some love to the like button subscribe if you happen to be new here and without further ado Let's hop into this thing. Look at that. Welcome to Yukon Valley, Chichiko. Thanks. From up here, you're able to see almost the entire reserve. This looks like the spot to set the plane down. I'll pull up to the jetty and you can climb out. Now, good luck to you out there. Don't forget. I'm only a radio call away. That looks kind of close, bro. Damn. I'm quite certain that you're the part of the puzzle that we've been missing out here. While I deal with paperwork and people, you're going to be my eyes and ears on the ground. We're going to be a strong team. I just know it. I like it. Okay. Lumber shore. Check it out. Goes the seaplane. Is he actually gonna oh, oh, shoot out the reserve? Confident that someone of your ability will find their way around, no problem. I look forward to seeing the results of your hunts. For this sure. Just arrived. There's a couple of places nearby that I'd like you to visit. You can probably see the lookout tower just up the hill from where I dropped you off. I do see that. If you climb to the top, you'll get a great view of the surrounding area. Okay. There's also an outpost close to the tower. It's always good to know where you can rest your head after a day's work, right? Head to the outpost and make sure it's ready to receive visitors. I don't mind which one you travel to first, but I'd like you to stop off at both sites. Can definitely do that, bro. Can definitely do that. All right, so first things first, we'll check out the lookout tower and just have a, a look around, see which area we'd like to actually move to. Once we get to the outpost, I've definitely got to try and... Uh, Once you're up top, enjoy the view. These towers are used mostly for fire watch duties. But when I'm at the top of one, normally I just want to put my feet up and enjoy the tranquility. I haven't had a chance to do that in a long time, though. Respect. Oh, yeah. This is epic. Definitely epic. <clears throat> Look out point. You at the top? Can you see the outpost from there? Uh, nope. I normally do a routine check of an outpost after we've had visitors. All it takes is a forgotten half-eaten sandwich, and suddenly you have curious animals coming to investigate. Bears are temperamental neighbors, and you don't want them knocking on the door asking to borrow some sugar. That's true. Um, okay, so we do have the predator jackrabbit collar, which is going to help us <clears throat> attract the wolves. I don't know if I want to attract the world. The Fucking, <clears throat> what did I just try to say? I don't know, my throat just fucking, your throat ever do that weird shit? Um, I don't know if I want to attract wolves, because apparently they run in packs and, like, fucking eat you. So I'm really trying not to, not to get eaten, honestly, is my main goal. Is there, like, a balcony? No. 
Just looking out to see if... Maybe there's something. I don't see much. I hear a bunch of stuff, though. I doubt I could even see anything from that far away. Okay, let's head over here to the outpost, get set up. I should probably check and see if maybe there's some additional lures. Lures? How the hell do you pronounce that word? Lures. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Um, but some of those. It'd be nice if I had some that... Like attract bears? Is that a thing? Probably not. I'm gonna just strap a sandwich on my ass. And hope it smells me. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get on the other side of this too. There's gotta be like a walkway across this Water, Welcome right? to Logger's Point. A hundred years ago or so, felled trees would be dragged down there. Then teams would strip them down and roll them into the river. Then they'd be bundled up and towed out to the sawmills. The outpost sits on top of the old workers' campsite. I know it might seem trivial, but can you take a look at the trash can and make sure that it's locked? It's a bear-proof trash can with a tricky catch. I don't want to take any chances. The trash can? All right, let me get the outpost first. There we go. We have now claimed it, but I didn't get like... Oh, okay, here we go. It's because it's on the inside. Oh, that was the trash can I was looking at. Bear-proof, I like it. Got it. People often struggle to lock these heavy-duty trash cans. But if they leave it just a little bit open, all sorts of trouble could come sniffing around. I think we got lucky this time. Uh, let's see. Thanks Must be care of that. Oh, one last thing. Before you move on, can you take a look at the firewood inside the cabin? Yeah, I got you. Okay, so there are caribou. Isn't that nice? Caribou? I'll fucking hunt some caribou. Um, so we'll grab that. Let's see. What else do we have unlocked? A jackrabbit. Canada goose? I feel like there might be Canada geese here. Honestly. Um, what about my skill point? I kind of forgot where to upgrade that at. Um... Binoculars? I feel like I need this rangefinder too. That'd be sick. Readings up to 1500 yards. Night vision rangefinder binoculars? Alright. Those are free. I'm gonna buy this too. We're about to get suited up. First aids. Honestly, I'm gonna buy... Let's buy at least one first aid kit. Oh, dude. I could get a new outfit too. Oh, I'm about to be looking fresh as fuck, boy. Um... Patagonian outfit, okay. Savannah Warden. No, I'm thinking Arctic, that's what I needed in. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, bro. Look at this cat. Henry, look at the camera. <laughs> um, honestly, maybe the olive outfit is best for us. That's a lot, anyway. Um, okay, so collars. Decoys, those are cool. I guess we'll we'll move ahead with that. Um, oh, here's where we upgrade our skill points. I could be so much better at this game. Reveals information about. Okay, that decreases visibility. No. Weather prediction. Soft feet reduces the noise. A oh, fuck yeah, I want that one. Most definitely. Okay, and then let's go to our inventory. Uh, I think it's inventory. Wait, no, it's storage. And then we go to our lures. Let's just put that in there. Um, I don't think we have any white-tailed deer, blue wildebeest, lesser kudu. That's literally just Africa, so we don't even need that. 
Um, scent eliminator. Let's put our range finder in there. Let's also put them the binoculars in there too, just in case. And I think we're good. I don't know how many bullets we got, but let's get some more 30 all six bullets, um, just in case we need that. <clears throat> um, polymer tip. That's gonna help us take down some some big game. Let's do some more of that. And then maybe if I find, I don't know, the wolves or something, I'll go with the 243. We gotta do some bow hunting too. That looks fun. Okay, I think we're I think we're good to go though. I'd like to set up my inventory now. So let's uh, the bleat collar. No thanks. Let's put that there. Let's put the jackrabbit, the scent eliminator. Yeah. Okay, I love this. And then if I could get my range finder. Right there. Number seven. Let's see how this thing works. Oh, baby. That's nice. Now I feel like we're actually ready for a, for a hunt. <clears throat> okay. So mission log. What do we got? Visit, place lid, investigate the firewood. Oh, shit. Already forgot the goal. Damn. This is bad news. These logs have all the signs of a beetle infestation. Beetles? Let me see if I can check in with the hunters who must have cut the firewood. I have the number for their satellite phone in the log somewhere. I'll get back to you. All right. Ah, I, I just found the number. I knew I had it here somewhere. I'll give the hunters who stayed here a call and see what they have to say. I'll call you back in a moment after I've landed. Sounds good. All right, I guess we'll make our way out here. I guess we'll go this way. I'm not going to try to go across the the way, so... No answers right. from the hunters yet. I'll keep trying. There's an outpost in the forest to your northwest. If you follow the trail, you'll find it. I have a hunch that... Oh, phone's ringing. I'll call you back when I get some answers from these guys about where they cut the wood. Appreciate you. Head to the forest outpost in the meantime. I'll bet that's where they were. Sounds good. 1.2 kilometers away. My goodness, that's that's a trip. Honestly, I feel like I should just go back and get the ATV, right? I'm about to just take the ATV because that is that's a long ways. And once we actually get there, then we'll actually be in the thick of everything. Right here at the starting outpost, I feel like we're just kind of on the outskirts and not near a bunch of animals. Okay, I'm gonna spawn in the, the ATV. We're going to the new outpost. Some grizzly bear tracks. Creatures I've ever encountered. The first time I spotted one, I instinctively checked my rifle was loaded, yeah. just in case it charged. It was over 200 yards away. That's not that far. <clears throat> Grizzlies can be found near bodies of flowing water where they find their most abundant food sources. What did that say? Something about it'll fuck you up. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I rode in the ATV about 200 I had meters a chat away. With the hunters who chopped the logs you found at Logger's Point. Turns out that the cabin had been out of firewood, so they'd gone looking for a fallen tree to carve up. You are now in the same forest they were when they found our beetle-infested tree. It doesn't seem very loud, but I don't guess... You gotta be. All of the footprints that I'm finding are animals that just took off running. I think I scared the shit out of them with my four-wheeler. But that's okay. Keep just calling them in. Learn them in while we just take in all this beautiful scenery. I think the weather is pretty dynamic on this map. Like it'll be snowing in one portion and then 
Not in the next. A lot of different colors. Okay, but here's the outpost. Hey, I see you're near the forest outpost. Yeah. Once you get up there, take a look in the cabin. There should be a backpack with some supplies in it. Okay. When you find it, just grab the whole pack. For me? I would like to keep that, please. Okay, so now we got a couple of spots that we can fast travel to. Let's see what's actually in there. Backpack? Ah, backpack. That's the one. Once you're done at the outpost, take a look in the surrounding forest. Can you find any fallen trees in that area? I mean... Ah, the spruce bark beetles are a massive threat to Alaska's spruce forests at the moment. We haven't been hit as badly compared to some other Alaskan state parks. But I think that it may be time for a quarantine. Don't say okay. the Q word. So once you find a fallen tree, I want you to take a look at its bark. Does it look healthy? If so, it's probably not the tree we're looking for. Um, is this the... Okay, locate an infested tree. What the hell is this? I'm in the Yukon Valley looking for beetles? The fuck? Oh my god, I just sneezed right on Henry. My bad, bro. Damn. That was on me. Sorry. This is the one. Okay. In that pack, you should have a canister of paint and a nozzle attachment. Use them to paint a big pink X on the tree. And let's take a look around to make sure the beetles haven't started to spread. If mark you it. see a spruce in the immediate vicinity of the fallen tree, mark it. And our forestry team will come out and take care of it. If it's untouched, they can just spray it with pesticides to protect it. If it's already infested, then they'll cut it down and haul it away for burning. There Great we job. go. Another tree. I hope we don't need to cut these this trees reminds down. me of my but summer break when I was a kid. I think I broke the game. My dad at work. He was a tree surgeon down in Washington State. I tree used surgeon. to resent him for making me go out there and work while my friends played back home. Eventually, those trips also included hunting lessons, and that made them my favorite parts of the summer. That should do. I'll get in touch with the foresters. They can investigate the area and cut down what they need to. I'll make sure that they also pick up the firewood at Logger's Point. Don't want to take any chances. Appreciate you, brother. Thanks for taking care of this. It's becoming a full-on phobia of mine that these beetles are going to destroy the forest here. We sprayed pesticides across the western edge of the forest as a preventative measure earlier this month. But any new chemicals in the air, soil, or water Make me uneasy. Dude, I just noticed. Grabbing some samples out there. So one of our research teams can test the pesticides to make sure they aren't having any effect on the ecology. This was actually my wife Sandy's idea. She runs the Yukon Valley Nature Center. So she's working closely with a visiting research team. In the same bag that you found the paint, there should be some plastic sample containers. Could you bring them out to the musk... Oh, sorry. I mean wetlands. Musk egg is the word we use up here in Alaska. I can definitely do that. I just noticed Welcome in the bottom right. Damn, this wetlands. guy won't stop talking. I'm just trying Last to say time something. I brought both of my daughters here to spot birds. They told me that all the bird spotting in the world wasn't worth the smell. Turned out that a bear had left a rotting moose carcass in the summer sun. I decided to spot birds somewhere else, just in case the bear came back for seconds. The pesticides we're using on the forest to prevent beetle infestation are effective, but I still have my doubts about the effects on other wildlife. The flats are one of our most biodiverse regions, so I can't risk introducing anything dangerous into the water or the food chain. Gotcha, I gotcha. Watch your footing at the water's edge. It can be easy to slip and fall in. Just fill one of the containers you have with water. 
Can you take some samples from the water beside the forest? This guy's never gonna shut the fuck up. We sprayed a section of the forest western edge last month. So I wanna know if anything has changed since then. Nothing has changed since then. What I was trying to say is in the bottom right where it says how loud I'm being, that skill really did help. Because even when I'm sprinting, I've only got one orange bar, whereas I used to get the one orange bar when I was walking. And now when I'm walking, I got nothing. So it's like I'm, I'm making no, uh, I'm making no noise. Oh, look at that. Finally. What is that? Fucking caribou. 250 meters away. Now, I don't know exactly how far 30-06 effective range is. I want to say, actually, can I look at it in my inventory? If we go to 30 alt 6 um, large deer and antelopes at ranges up to 300 meters. Okay, so this is actually a, a decent shot. I'd like to work around and get to the left so I can actually get a broadside shot, but... I don't know if the 30 alt 6 is too much gun. Look at that bad boy. I'd like to smoke that one, honestly. Let me see what I can do. Oh shit, I still got my night vision scope on, bro. That's from the Siberia episode. Can we just sights, take this one off, throw my Hyperion back on? There we go. Oh, this is, this is a good shot. Actually, can I move around just a little bit more? I want it to be perfect. I'm gonna get down here. Make sure I don't move like downwind from them. But if I can get here, maybe lay down near the edge just to steady my shot. We're gonna set her down nice and clean. I'm gonna take your guys' advice too and not um, like run away or like run towards it after I kill the one. I wanna see how many I can actually take out because apparently they'll come back. So here's one. Is that the best shot I have? Yeah. Okay, so we hit one. Now let's see what they do exactly. I don't even know. Was that a good shot? I think it was. But they're certainly running. So let's sit here for a few minutes and see if they come back to the watering hole. I think they will. Bro, yo, we're not lying. They really did come back. All of them, except, you know, the dead one, obviously. They kind of moved over a little bit, though, so. Okay, let's see. Like, is that a good shot? I feel like that's through the shoulder. I don't know if that's really going to do much. I'm going to try not to hit it multiple times. Oh, yeah, it dropped. That one dropped. I'm just going to sit here and see how many times they'll come back and see if I can keep picking them off. Because the last ones just ran really into the distance. Look at them, bro. They really are coming back. I could probably smoke that one right there. He stops moving. Oh, look at that shot. Kill shot. That thing's got to drop, right? That was a long shot if I've ever seen one. I think it dropped right there. I can see it. Okay, so technically that's three. Dude, we're getting we're getting better at this game, huh? I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit that shot. Oh, I almost took it, but okay. Now we may have actually scared Nicely them off. Done. First time I was there. I misjudged how stable the edge of a pond was and ended up with one leg knee deep in the water. I was a rookie at the time and luckily nobody saw it happen. Can you grab a second sample from a body of water slightly further away from the forest? Can I even get it? Oh! What happened? Oh my god. I guess I can't run around that. I'm gonna have to go around this whole thing. All right. Let's see. We shot three caribou. Let's see if we can find all three of them. Okay, confirmed. We got at least one down. 
And then I'm pretty sure we dropped... The first one ran that way. We'll just have to track them down. I know where two of them are. The last one... Not so much. <clears throat> but let's see if we actually got some... Some clean kills on them. And if that's the right type of ammo. I think it is, because... I got some pretty good shots on these, I felt like, and they didn't drop just instantly. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is the right ammo. Alright, proper ammo for this animal. Left lung. Just beautiful kill shot. And then I think we had one run up here. Yep, okay. This one fell right behind the tree line. And then the first one we shot. That's the one I'm a little worried about, because... There we go. Right scalpula. Right lung, perfect. This is the one where I kind of like shot through its shoulder. I don't know if that was good or not. We might have only got a flush shot. Oh no, it's down right there. Look at that, three caribou. I'll take it. Maybe that was a good shot. Oh, look at that. That, oh shit, it was. Okay. I mean, we did go through the shoulder, but hit the liver, hit the stomach. Trophy rating 277. Let's accept that. Reindeer or caribou, caribou boy. are known in North America. Have a long history as the backbone of native Alaskan society. The Gwich'in tribe have always harvested caribou to provide food, tools, and clothing. The herds are a fraction of their former size nowadays. Not many non-natives get to hunt them. Well, should we not be killing them then if they're disappearing like that? Not trying to kill all the caribou. Okay, um, current mission, what do we got? Uh, travel to Muskeg, collect the first, oh, collect the second water sample. It wants us to collect out of here. It looks like <coughs> one kilometer away. All right. Well, hopefully we don't get attacked by wolves on the way there. What the hell is in front of me right here? Oh, it's a moose. It's a gang of moose. That's another drinking zone, huh? This is a close shot. My goodness. Um, I think that's good. I hope that's good. Which one did I shoot? That one? Oh, that was... That was way more moose than I thought! What the fuck? I wonder if they'll come back. Dude, I don't think I got a good shot on that. No way. Unless it dropped in the... tree line and I just didn't notice it. <clears throat> This moose just came out of nowhere. There's tons of animals on this. Let's see. If maybe I hit a good one. I kind of rushed that shot, honestly. The caribou, I set it all up. Got into the perfect position. That one, I kind of just banged on it. Don't see the moose. Might have goofed on that one. Oh. Bleed rate low. So clearly I did not hit it pure. I'm going to track it though. See if I can find it. There we go. I found him. Her. I don't know. Does this have antlers? I don't remember. That thing made it pretty far. But I had just saw the rest of the moose. Right in here, like they didn't run too far away. Alright, let's see how terrible my shot was. Dog, what is that sound? I pulled the shotgun out. I didn't even get a chance to look. It looked like a solid shot though. That was long, wasn't it? What is that right there? That's a caribou again. This skill point is OP as fuck. Like, they literally can't hear me. 
I mean, I'm in here just rocking them. <laughs> they don't know where I'm at or what I'm doing. I feel bad. I'm a silent assassin. Look at that thing, it just dropped. Oh, that's some serious blood splatter. Vital organ. I might have to get some more ammo. We're gonna have a field day in the Yukon Valley. This is great. I don't know where the rest of them just went, but... Um, oh yeah, that penetrated both lungs. Damn. Trophy rating 121, I guess. That just wasn't a... It's a female. Okay. Yeah, I gotta start going after the bigger, badder animals. Instead of just shooting the first one that I see. Just taking my time on them. Okay. We've already taken down... I mean, here's even more. Look at this. How do I not take these out while I have the opportunity? Oh, it stopped. I don't know where the heart is on this thing. Probably... There. Oh my god, that was a kill shot. Probably should have shot the other one, but... It is what it is. <laughs> We're killing them. We are absolutely killing them. That quiet skill point just is OP. Oh, I did hit the heart. That's nasty. That's a sick shot, dude. That was perfect. Lower chest, just insta-death. Okay. Now, maybe? We can have a break in the action and make it to the objective? I hope. I'm gonna try to just sprint. We got 700 meters to the mission objectives. Oh, wait. <laughs> There's another one, bro. Gotta do it. Have to do it. You just lay down. Oh, I was gonna get that heart shot. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Come here, come here, come here. Caribou. Caribou. Can it really hear that, though? Oh. I can't. Can't see. Oh, there's another one right there. Look at that. Did that thing have some? Yo, it's got some big ass antlers. Hold up. It's a few of them. Where'd the one I want just go. Oh, there it is. one was it? I think it was that one. <clears throat> slow down now, slow down. Don't leave me. Is that it or is that a rock? That's a rock. That's it. Yep. Vital organ. Yes it is. This feels almost unfair. Like, with how difficult it was for me to kill anything in the first episode, we came a long way. We came a long way. What is that? Caribou warning call. Are you really in a position to be warning me right now? I just slayed your whole family, bro. Dude, look at that! 252 trophy rating? That's not bad. We got left lung, stomach... I'd love to taxidermize some of these, but I'm going to have to... Maybe next episode we unlock some of the lodges. That way we'll actually be able to showcase some of our best kills. I know I did 
do the um the lion from the African safari, right? Pretty sure we did. All right, finally, 500 meters away, going to the objective. Got to be Yo, what the hell are those? Yo. Plains bison. That's incredible. Look at that big son of a bitch. I gotta hunt some bison, right? You know they're shitting too, so we could definitely find some droppings there. Just don't want to spook it. And I want to find like the best one. How do I know? Is it that nine? In the top right? Is that like a nine rating? That one says nine? Or does that mean it's in a pack of nine? I think that means it's in a pack of nine. Resting trivial. We're definitely about to run up on them though. This place is sick. And there's another lookout tower right here. All right, let me get close. We'll line up a good shot on the bison. I feel like with the lung, I just, that's a big animal, bro. So 30 out six really, really gonna get the job done. Whoa, did I scare him? Oh my God. Wow. Wow, look at that big one in the middle. My goodness, bro. You gotta be kidding me. They're not even downwind. I don't think I scared them. I think they're just... I think they're just traveling now. Alright. Let's go check where they were just... resting. See if we can find some droppings. And then we'll run up on them. Honestly, I think I can run. I'm making, like, no noise. Oh yeah, here we go. See some bison poop. Look at that. Is it? Oh, that's... That's what we're looking for. That was shit! Perfect. Wow. Could you find a sample from a different species as well? It's better to grab a larger sample size while you're already there in the field. That's as large as it gets, brother. I know what you mean, but th I thought that was a rock. I really thought that was a rock. Okay. Like, that's a female. Do I really want to take that one down? That one's running. I saw one male earlier. Oh, shit. Is it that one? Whoa. That's the one. That's the one we gotta hit. Don't run. Don't run. Look at that son of a bitch. That's it. That's our kill right there. I don't even know... If I go to inventory... Does that work on bison? Hell no, it doesn't. Look at that thing. Still very easy, it says. At this point, I'm going to stop sprinting. Oh, no. God. Why does the moose sound so much more dangerous than it actually is? This thing's really looking at me. Is that our shot? That's our shot. <laughs> Fuck, I took it too early. I think I hit it in the... Wait, is it running at me? Oh my god. What the fuck is this thing doing? Oh hell no. Oh hell. What the fuck? Oh my god. I'm about to get killed by a bison. Um. Bitch. Oh my god. Yo, what was that? That's got to be the worst kill of my life. <laughs> Improper ammo.
Animal was shot more than two times and I damaged it. I was fighting for my life. I shot that fucker in the jaw. <laughs> oh my God. I shot it in the head with the shotgun. I shot it. First shot was perfect. That's exactly where I wanted to shoot. Was there, but I don't think this... Oh, class nine is what the nine was. I don't think even the, the 30 out six, I don't think that's yeah improper ammo for this animal. And then I was trying to aim for the heart. I shot it in the jaw. The third one was just all flesh. The first shot was the best shot. 73%. I only got 4% for that one. The stomach liver with the shotgun was the next. Okay, so that was certainly not my best kill, but okay. We got a small taste of what it's like to be hunted there for a moment. 23 rifle score. So I may actually have to get my rifle score up and unlock the, um, I forget what the weapon is called, but there's definitely some stronger ones um, in the game that we can use before we continue to hunt bison. Okay, everybody, I think that's a good spot to end this episode of the Hunter Call of the Wild. We took down a lot of game today, and we're just getting started in this uh, Yukon Valley DLC. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it, and once again, if you guys would like to see this uh, series continue on the channel, be sure to show some love to it. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and I will catch you guys right back here next time. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like if you didn't just refresh it and give it one more chance. And as always, guys, I don't really have a